Hey YouTube, make it here. Welcome to episode 44 of my Feed the Beast Continuing Quick Tips and Tricks. Um, one of the things I wanted to go over real quick uh, was automated fluid crafting. Um, I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm looking at uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff with uh, flux plated armor. Uh, so the flux infused jet plate is kind of the last in the series of, of jet packs. Uh, but it, it does require a significant investment into flux plates. So let's take a look at this real quick. Um, this is what we're looking for. Um, you can see here that this is kind of expensive to make, uh, but the majority of this uh, flux based stuff ends up using fluxed armor plating. Um, you can see here that these aren't really all that expensive to make. Um, we're looking at fluxed electrum here. Um, and the easiest way to make this stuff is really in the arc furnace. So you're looking at fluxed electrum blend. Um, so this is just, I've been using pulverized gold and silver and then a, a bucket of destabilized redstone in order to make this go. Um, but it gets to be kind of a pain in the ass to actually make this stuff. Because um, you're constantly running back and forth. My uh, magma crucible here in uh, fluid transposer setup was just not doing it for me. It got to be too much of a burden. So what I did here, in order to get all kinds of different fluids and whatnot into my ME network, specifically for this magma crucible, I did a set of ender tanks. Um, so what this does is this pushes out into the back, into the tank, and then it ends up downstairs um, next to my ME controllers. Um, Let's go take a look at this setup really quickly. Uh, it's not complicated. It's relatively simple. Uh, I think uh, getting this put together is is not going to be an issue whatsoever. So all I've I've done here is set up this ender tank. Uh, so they're matched together with a couple, uh, well actually three, white wool. Uh, so if your initial craft, you could set these up right away if you're not going to mess around with any of the networking types for this ender tank. Um, you can see here that I've got a fluid import bus going. Um, I did a little bit of uh, extra storage here for these fluid cells. Uh, you can see here there isn't a whole lot going on here right now just because I don't keep a ton of fluids in the network. Um, but get yourself a few of these chips. You can make this work relatively easily. Uh, so you might be wondering how in the hell do we make things um, with fluids directly from the network? Well, the answer to that is actually going to be this fluid assembler. Uh, the way this works is you create a recipe with, say, a bucket of destabilized redstone, for instance, for our, our flux-infused electrum. Um, and you can see here I've got this set up for... It's just one pulverized gold, one pulverized silver, and then a, a redstone bucket. Um, I didn't allow any substitutions here, so... This kind of just takes care of itself. The other recipe I've got here is these two flux crystals. These aren't difficult to make. Uh, but these are just patterns that were created in the, um, you know, upstairs in this, uh, the, our pattern builder, or encoder. Let's take a look quick. So this is just set up in the pattern terminal. Um, you can see here, destabilized redstone bucket a couple of diamonds and then I patterned that out so pretty simple so you can see here this is actually importing all that uh, destabilized redstone into the network um, like I said I don't have a ton of shit in here um, but anyway make some chips you can get going on this relatively easily so we already saw the uh, the fluid assembler downstairs these are pretty cheap to make uh, it's pretty much just a molecular assembler and then a 1k ME fluid storage component. So get that set up on your network. I don't know if you're going to need a ton of these. I'm doing it just for flux for right now just to see how this goes. But let's take a look. Um, let's say we want to do flux. I've got two in here now. Let's pull these out. Um, but as soon as you've got that set up, uh, you could see that this becomes a craftable item. So let's click on this. Um, we'll just do one, but you can see here it doesn't even involve 
that destabilized redstone bucket because the, the fluid assembler is going to take care of that for you. So what it does is it's pretty much just like a regular old molecular assembler setup um, with an ME interface. Uh, but this is just taking in the one gold, one silver, and then it's outputting this because it knows the rest of the recipe. So let's start that, take a look at it. Boom. That's it. That's all there is to it. So um, you can see here that this used up a couple buckets worth. Um, but that's it. Really, this, is, this makes this really simple. Um, super easy. Let's try, uh, let's do these quick and just to show it. So there's 15, 6 in there now. Let's do one of these and get two. So here's our setup for that. We'll start it and there they are. And you can see it drops it for the necessary fluids needed and that's pretty much it. So just wanted to go over this quickly if you're looking to do some crafting with, uh, liquids so you could set up that for um interior and whatnot um it's pretty simple so that's it for this episode talk to you later